Now, uh, I'll show you how to uh, do that coloring thing up here in the corner. You've got home, which will uh, bring you down a drop down menu. And I will uh, mention that there's quite a few of the functions in this drop down menu that they give you quick access to in the uh, screen access. Anything with a slash would indicate that a double tap would uh, go from automation to filing. So single tap would be automation, next tap would be filing. If you tapped it again, it would go back to automation, so on and so forth. So when we get up here, we've got files, which will take you to the filing pages, input channels. Um, and if we go ahead and hit input channels, we'll notice that the screen changes. And now we can go in here and we can uh, label each one of the channels. Uh, this would be giving it a pre-prescribed name. If we do this drop-down menu, it's got some names that are just uh, common names that you can go ahead and throw in there. Um, uh, this one would be uh, the coloring of the uh, uh, particular channel. And don't bother going through and coloring every channel because uh, when we get to coloring the uh, VCAs and the pot groups, they uh, have a little uh, deal that they uh, uh, call color spill, which uh, will spill whatever color you assign to that pop group or VCA to any contribution to those. And then this last guy here uh, would just uh, take us back out to uh, where that channel is uh, in the home screen. So we will go back uh, into home here, mixes and outputs. Um, uh, we've got here uh, all of our input channels and then as we get a little bit further down this would label all of our auxes. Um, uh, here would start uh, aux returns and see they give you a little indication of what they are in 56, in 40, aux return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Um, uh, these uh, MO ones here are uh, uh, dedicated, uh, uh, or these are the matrixes, I'm sorry, these are the matrixes. Uh, here we would have aux sends. Uh, all the way down and again all these can be color coordinated um, then if we cruise back up to our home area again and we would come down to control groups um, we'll notice now that we've got VCAs pop groups and mute groups and you'll notice here we've got the same icons the uh, uh, generic name the coloring uh, this if we tap on it will take us to uh, a page where we can add contributions manually You'll see here these are the things that are assigned to that particular VCA. Uh, we could come over here and highlight anything we wanted and then come over here and tell it to add it and it would add that to the applicable VCA. Here we could tell it uh, to, if we engaged this, it would deploy this to the B area which again would be on the right hand side of the console as opposed to the left. Um, and here they've uh, just got the lists for you, inputs, aux returns, aux sends, and matrixes, and these are all things that can be a contribution to uh, that particular VCA or pop group. Um, so if we would cruise back to where we were at, we'll notice that right here on the end we've got this little thing. I'll see if I can get close here. Looks like a little paint bucket, and that is the color spill I was talking about. So if I've taken this VCA and made it this color of blue, if I were to just simply click on this, now it will make everything that's a contribution to that VCA the same color so it matches those for you so you don't have to do those from that uh, uh, input page.